let's take a look at the difference between open and closed loop. To start with, I'm disconnecting both limit X and Y switches. Next, I'm going to disconnect the X axis motor and let's see what happens when we turn it on. The X axis does not move because it's been disconnected. Now it drives all the way back and lo and behold it hits the stop with no limit and it ratchets. Now we'll reconnect the X axis motor and disconnect the Y axis motor. This time when we turn the motor on the Y axis does not move but the X axis will home. Now remember there is no limit switch so when it hits the stop it just ends. It doesn't ratchet it just shuts off and the motor is freewheeling. Now let's reconnect both X and Y as well as the limit switches. Sometimes it's a little tighter than it looks. And we will turn it on. And the X and Y both home. Now I'm going to move the gantry to the middle and the head over to the left a little. Watch what happens when I try to move the head. I'm actually putting a lot of force on this and it is not budging. But the Y axis, I can easily break it and move it. The X axis, again, I can't move because this is the one with the closed loop. 